Ah, it's lunchtime. Everyone's hungry. We've been hanging out on the beach in the morning. I'm going to make Persian kebabs for lunch. I'm going to cook them on the camper cube. I'm going to make the flatbread, fresh made flat, flatbread cooked on the fire. Um, so to get ready for that, I've got to make my dough nice and early so that the dough's got a chance to rise properly. So in a couple of hours when we finish cooking the kebabs, we'll have this freshly cooked flatbread ready to go. First, warm water. That's the trick to making bread, is warm water first. Activating the yeast. You can almost see it starts to react. It's like, it's like a it goes fizzy. It's like a chemical reaction. Uh, then we're going to put a bit of salt in. Flour going in. And you can always just add more water. Olive oil, you can put in heaps of olive oil. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going. There we go, perfect, thanks. And I'd also like to put some sesame seeds in as well. If that's ready, I'm just going to have to get this pan cleaned out now, ready for it to rise in. It's just a bit of canola oil. Just lines the pan so that when I put the dough back in here now, as it rises, it's not going to grab or stick on the sides at all. It's just going to come straight up. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a tea towel over it, keep the air off it so there's no airflow across the top of it. I'm just going to put it in here. Nice warm spot inside the trailer. That's bread prep done. So I've got my minced meat, which has been prepared by my butcher, which is a combination of lamb and beef minced together. I've also got a few other of my own herbs. We're going to top it up, mix it together. I've got some spring onions, some cumin, my favourite spice in the whole world, is cumin. We're going to mix that together. And again, we're going to get our kebabs set up on these really awesome skewers here we've got. We're just going to go over our camper queue and get, down, get lunch going. Let's get it on. This is my lamb and beef mince. You can go to the effort of getting your lamb mince and then getting your beef mince and putting them together, but it's just easy to go to your butcher and just ask him to give you a combo. All right, just got some spring onions. Get those in there. My favorite spice out of all spices is cumin. I absolutely love it. It's an amazing, amazing flavor and aroma particularly with lamb, beef, oh, you just cannot go wrong. Well, that's it, it's that simple. And that, on your screen, if you push the like button, it'll open up the olfactory sensor on your computer and you should be able to smell this. You push your like button now, can you smell it? There might be something wrong with your computer, but just keep, keep pushing like and eventually you'll be able to smell it. So that's all ready. Now we'll start getting them on the skewers. Get them on the fire. Work your way down. I will get some water here now because it works a lot more nicely when you've got a bit of moisture on your hands and they're not sticking to your hands as much. They're going to sit now, come to come up to room temperature while I'm preparing the flatbread and then they'll be the perfect temperature to put on the fire. Let's just check our bread that we prepared earlier. Look at that. And when you pour it, look at all the air holes that are in. That's the yeast has created all those air holes and made it nice and fluffy. Can you see all that? This mixture could be used for making pizza bases. You could make bread. You could make all sorts of stuff. We're going to use it where we're going to roll it out flat and we're going to make flatbread with it. We're going to cook the flatbread on the fire. One of the best things you can possibly do when you're planning your meals when you're camping is plate-free meals. No cutlery, no utensils, no plates. Flatbread is an all-in-one. Fold it up, shove it in your mouth. So always try and think about meals. They're going to give you the option to not have any washing up. Now you can put whatever you like in your kebabs. Well, I like the fresh crispness of some lettuce. We've got some pickled chilies here, tomatoes with a squeeze of lemon, and we'll get some sour cream on top. 
And I guarantee you, you, your mind will be blown by the flavour that you're going to get out of these kebabs. They are freaking remarkable. So I'm just going to get a tiny little bit of oil in the pan here. Don't want too much. Put those on. And we'll start to get the nice slow roasted and as they start to cook, they're going to drip and the meat is going to drip down onto the coals which creates a little flame and creates a bit of smoke and all that flavour just penetrates back through the meat as you're cooking it. Being able to do this in this remote, beautiful environment is truly one of the most amazing things for me and it's my happy place. I love being able to do this, absolutely love it. First flatbread in pan. Nice heat there. Instantly, you start to see it bubble up. Flip over. That's the first flatbread off. Second one on. You want your pan pretty hot for this. We take the first wrap, put it in there. Like Graham cheese tzatziki on top. A bit of lemon juice, lettuce, tomato, chilies. That's it. Wrap it up. Now eat it. Mm. Oh, it's so good. Mm. Perfect. 